Japan's Ministry of Defense has officially announced the selection of the F 35B fighter for its future short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. The U.S. government and Lockheed Martin were the sole bidder. Japan decided in December 2018 to procure 42 of this type of aircraft to strengthen the country's defense in its southern islands. U.S. Marine Corps F 35B Will be the first fixed wing aircraft to fly from Japan's Maritime Self Defense Force Izumo class helicopter destroyers following the conversion of both JS Izumo and JS Kaga into aircraft carriers. According to the Japanese newspaper, the Azahi Shimbun, which revealed the information on August 21st, the Japanese government made this request directly to the Marine Corps back in March. The ships will be converted for the F 35B during their regularly scheduled overhaul periods, which take place every five years. The USMC is already assisting the Royal Navy with their own aircraft carrier program. Marine Corps F 35B jets will join the HMS Queen Elizabeth's carrier for her first long operational deployment in 2021. South Korea's Ministry of National Defense unveiled in mid August an ambitious midterm defense plan for the 2020 through 2024 period. In addition to already known projects such as the KDX 3 Batch 2 Destroyer and the KSS 3 Batch 2 Submarine, the plan calls for the design of two new naval projects for the Republic of Korea Navy an LPX 2 aircraft carrier and an arsenal ship. Conceptual development of the amphibious ship that would act as an aircraft carrier is set to begin next year, with commissioning with Republic of Korea Navy expected for the early 2030s. The vessel displacing around 30,000 tons would be based in the existing Dokdo class amphibious assault ship and would be able to accommodate around 20 F 35B fighters. The arsenal ship will likely be based on an existing hull form. It will be loaded with a large number of precision guided weapons, including land attack cruise missiles. It's expected to begin its mission in the late 2020s. <laughs> BAE Systems cut the first deal for HMS Cardiff, the second Type 26 City Class frigate, for the Royal Navy on August 14, 2019. The ceremony took place at the BAE Systems shipyard in Govan on the River Clyde. British Minister for Defense Procurement Anne Marie Trevelyan performed the official duties, setting the plasma cutting machine to work on a plate of steel. The cutting edge frigates for the Royal Navy will replace the current anti submarine warfare Type 23 frigates and provide advanced protection to the continuous at sea deterrent and Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers and offer top of the line anti submarine warfare capability. The first Type 26 warship, HMS Glasgow, will enter service in the mid 2020s. <music> Australian Navy destroyer Hobart fired an SM 2 standard missile in the East Australian Exercise Area against an unmanned target during trials off the coast of New South Wales, achieving excellent results. The firing provided an opportunity to prove recent upgrades to the ship's Aegis combat system and prepare the ship's crew for their upcoming deployment. The first of three Hobart class air warfare destroyers. HMAS Hobart is based at Garden Island in Sydney and will deploy for the first time next month as the lead ship in a task group deployment. <music> Naval Group achieved a breakthrough with their proprietary FC2G AIP system for submarines. 
The company demonstrated an 18-day submerged patrol representative of operational conditions. FC2G AIP stands for Fuel Cell Second Generation Air Independent Propulsion. It consists in a module package as a dedicated hull section about 8 meters in length and suitable for either new build boats or modernization programs. The long-term land-based test was conducted at the Naval Group site in Indrit near Nantes in March with a true submarine operational profile. The test confirmed a submerged duration of up to three weeks, the optimization of the maintenance cycle, and the performance of the major components of the system. Music